Coronavirus misinformation spreads online about origin and scale. More than 100 people have now been killed by the coronavirus. The number of confirmed cases has risen to 4,500 with places like Hong Kong announcing plans to cut travel to mainland China to halt the spread. But not only has the virus spread around China and abroad, so too has misinformation. Numerous conspiracies have appeared since the outbreak, not to mention videos about bat soup. From the very beginning, people speculated online about the origin of the coronavirus. This was exacerbated by a slew of videos said to be showing Chinese people eating bats amid the deadly outbreak in Wuhan. One such clip shows a smiling Chinese woman holding a cooked bat on camera, before admitting it tastes like chicken meat. The video prompted outrage online, with some users blaming Chinese eating habits for the outbreak. But the video was not shot in Wuhan, or in China for that matter. Originally filmed in 2016, it shows popular blogger and travel show host Wang Mengyun during a trip to Palau, an archipelago in the western Pacific Ocean. The clip resurfaced on social media after cases of the new coronavirus emerged in Wuhan late last year. Following the online backlash, Ms. Mengyun apologized, saying she was just trying to introduce the life of local people to the audience and had not known that bats could be a virus carrier. Her video has since been taken down. The new coronavirus is believed to have emerged from illegally traded wildlife at a seafood market in Wuhan. Although bats have been named in recent research from China as a possible source of the virus, bat soup is not particularly commonplace in the country and the investigations into its exact origins continue. Outbreak planned, as the United States reported its first case of the coronavirus last week, several patent documents started to circulate on Twitter and Facebook that at first glance appear to suggest experts have been aware of the virus for years. One of the first users to float these allegations was a conspiracy theorist and YouTuber Jordan Sather. In a lengthy thread that has been retweeted thousands of times, he shared a link to a 2015 patent filed by the Perbright Institute in Surrey, England, that talks about developing a weakened version of coronavirus for potential use as a vaccine to prevent or treat respiratory diseases. The same link has also been widely circulated on Facebook, mainly in conspiracy and anti-vaccination groups. Sather used the fact that the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is a donor to both Perbright and vaccine development to suggest that the current outbreak virus has somehow been deliberately manufactured to attract funding for the development of a vaccine. And how much funding has the Gates Foundation given to vaccine programs throughout the years? Was the release of this disease planned? Is the media being used to incite fear around it? Sather tweeted. But Perbright's patent is not for the new coronavirus. Instead, it covers the avian infectious bronchitis virus, a member of the wider coronavirus family that infects poultry. As for the speculation about the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, her bright spokeswoman Teresa Mogan told BuzzFeed News that the Institute's particular work with the infectious bronchitis virus was not funded by this foundation. Bioweapon conspiracies, another baseless claim that has gone viral online suggests the virus was part of China's covert biological weapons program and may have leaked from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Many accounts pushing the theory cite two widely shared Washington Times articles both of which quote a former Israeli military intelligence officer for the claim. However, no evidence is provided for the claim in the two articles, and the Israeli source is quoted as saying that so far there isn't evidence or indication to suggest there was a leak. The two articles have so far been posted to hundreds of different social accounts to a potential audience of millions. The Daily Star published a similar piece last week, claiming the virus might have started in a secret lab. However, it has since amended the piece to add there is no evidence for the claim. Based on official research, the virus is thought to have emerged from illegally traded wildlife at the Huanan seafood market in Wuhan. Spy Team, another claim inaccurately linked the virus to the suspension of a researcher at Canada's National Microbiology Laboratory. Virologist Dr. Shangguo Chu, her husband and some of her students from China were removed from the lab following a possible policy breach, according to a report by CBC last year. 
Police told CBC News there was no threat to public safety. Another report said Dr. Chu had visited the Wuhan National Biosafety Laboratory of the Chinese Academy of Sciences twice a year for two years. A tweet with more than 12,000 retweets and 13,000 likes, claimed without evidence that Dr. Chu and her husband were a spy team, had sent pathogens to the Wuhan facility, and that her husband specialized in coronavirus research. None of the three claims in the tweet can be found in the two CBC reports and the terms coronavirus and spy do not appear even once in either. Wuhan nurse video, different versions of a whistleblower video, alleged to have been taken by a doctor or a nurse in Hubei province, have racked up million views on various social media platforms and mentioned in numerous online reports. The most popular version was uploaded to YouTube by a Korean user, and included English and Korean subtitles, the video has since been taken down. According to the English subtitles, the woman is a nurse in a Wuhan hospital. However, she does not claim to be either a nurse or a doctor in the video at all. This seems to be merely an assumption on the part of those who have uploaded various versions of the video to social media. The woman, who does not identify herself, is wearing a protective suit in an unknown location. However, her suit and mask do not match the ones worn by medical staff in Hubei. Due to a lockdown being enforced by the authorities, it is difficult to verify videos from the province. But she makes a number of unsubstantiated claims about the virus, making it unlikely for her to be a nurse or a paramedic. She claims that the actual number of people infected in China is 90,000. But according to official figures, there have been more than 4,500 confirmed infections so far. She also claims the virus has a second mutation, which can infect up to 14 people. But the World Health Organization has preliminarily estimated the number of infections an individual carrying the virus can cause as 1.4 to 2.5. She doesn't sound like someone from a medical professional background, Mu Yi Xiao, a Wuhan native and the visuals editor for the China File Online magazine, told the BBC. Although the exact location of the video is unknown, it is likely that the woman is a Hubei resident sharing her personal opinion about the outbreak. I think there is a possibility that she thinks she is telling the truth. Because no one knows the truth, says Badiasau, a Chinese political activist currently based in Australia. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this, please show your support by subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification.